Morgan Riley plays 250th game this week, uh, 22 years old. What does that say about him? Well, it says he was talented young, and now he's got to get better every day so he can be, you know, a high, high-end player in the league. He's a, a high-end player for his age group, or he wouldn't have got to play on that team. And now we need him to be a real high-end guy in the league, and I think him and Zaitsev have a chance to be a real good pair. Where have you seen the growth in this game? Well, just uh, his fundamentals without the puck. Uh, his ability to box out, his ability with his stick, his ability to play the rush, his ability to gap up, uh, all the things allowing him to play against the good players. And You know, when you first arrive, there's other guys on the team, and Dion was here for a long time. It took a lot of heat for a lot of kids and kept the flies off them, and, and now he's at a point in his career he's got to be the guy for us. Club playing with a greater edge uh, this season, do you think, compared to most? I know it's a small sample size right now. Yeah, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Marty gives us... Uh, Confidence, obviously. I think it's important with our speed that we we play fast and try to get on the other team's D. And you know, obviously, um, you get in some battles when you do that. But uh, we need to continue to do that to have success. Mike, obviously, Kadri was the any discipline blindside hits. There's some debate about whether they're going to be phased out moving forward. Can you legislate that? Like, where do you see it? Yeah, going? I mean, that's great thing about that. That's not my job. I don't have to worry about it. We have good people at the league. You know, obviously, we feel they made the right decision, and we'll move on. With that LA team coming in, they're heavy along the boards. Is that board play and, and play along the wall? Does it change at the pro level from maybe the minors and amateur level? Yeah, it changes at every level. As the players get b bigger and better, they're way better on the puck, and they understand how hard it is to get it back, so they want to have it. And obviously, LA's plans to wear you down. And make you make mistakes, and we have to do the same to them. Do you think the youthful energy, the fact that the kids like Marner and Matthew seem to be really, really having fun out there rubs off on the on the whole group? Well, I think so, for sure. I think uh, having fun is an important part of the game. It is a game. You're supposed to have fun every day. You know, when you're working real hard and you're doing what you're supposed to do, you tend to have success, and it becomes a lot of fun. And so, uh, obviously, energy is contagious. We want to have a lot of energized people in here, and, and when Good players come in here, they make you better, and I think that leads to having fun as well. Mike, I'm thinking the third period is, wasn't something you'd like to see every night, but what does it do for a team when you, know, you win your third in a row and you have all that emotion in the building? Well, I think it's great. I mean, it's, it's good for our group. Um, you know, we're 4 and 1 at home, and we want to be really good at home. We've got to get going better on the road. I thought uh, our team played well last game and that we didn't give up very much. Uh, able to win a game without our, your goaltender being first star, which is nice. Um, no, we're, we're not against Andy being first star, but we don't need it every night. And so, uh, but I think all just leads to confidence. And it was a nice day off for the guys. And we worked hard here today. We'll be ready tomorrow. How do I get there? Since it might be long term. No, I think he, he skated today, and uh, it sounds like he's just around the corner.